Hello to you, it's uh, Sly Wow. <laughs> Hi, YouTube, it's Wow Sly. Right, check army bedroll. Um, it's big and bulky. If you've got one, you know what I mean. Bought mine, put it on YouTube, blah, blah, blah. Took it out, tried it out. A lot of feedback says fantastic item, big and bulky. That sums up the item perfectly and pretty much everyone's opinion of the uh, check army bedroll. Um, so, I was after a compression sack. Bit hard to get the measurements really, because it's hard to measure. You, you measure it sort of like screwed up, and then put it in a, a, um, a stuff sack, compression sack that size, or do you measure it fully, you know, inflated as it was. Um, so anyway, right, I went and bought a, as far as I'm aware, this is a British Army, um, Uh, what's the name of it arctic sleeping bag compression sack so i've got like a few s s compression sacks now it's remembering the name of them all it's the problem about the kit you buy it for yourself but then when you go on youtube you have to tell people what it is and all the specs and names right jungle bag compression sack most of you know what this is um very good build quality very very good um being issued because it's got um identification label on it for obviously when it's in transit and the, the name on the paper there matches what's written on the on here somewhere not important anyway right i'll uh, open it up and show you should have really done the measurements um standard dining room table nothing special four seater uh the check army roll I think it's about two, <coughs> excuse me YouTube, it's got to be about two foot long, this is a big bit of kit, this is a compression sack at its maximum, so it fits in there, I think I had to push the last like inch or two in, to uh, close it up, um, so if you have got a Czech army bedroll, I really advise getting one of these, you've just seen it squashed up, Darcy B, see it's longer than the actual compression sack. It is the length of my table. Two and a bit feet. Two and a bit foot long. And a foot and a bit wide. By about eight inches deep. So check army bed roll is a bit fit. Fit. Thick, thick, thick. <laughs> I know what I mean. Um, look at the size of it. Right, when I put this in my trailer, it took up the whole length of my trailer. When I put it the other way, it took up the whole width. So my trailer is obviously um, two, just over two foot square, probably by about a foot tall. Um, when this is in my trailer, it takes up all my gear. If I put this in my bag, like it's stupid to put it in any bag. Um, but you know, you can carry it by its straps. Attach a shoulder strap, hang it over your shoulder, or um, as I've just shown you, the jungle bag, um, jungle sleeping bag, compression sack. I might try and get cocky now and stand my phone up and record me put it in there. So I think my phone may fall over, but we'll give it a go anyway. Right, not sure. How much of this is going to come out because I can't actually see what I'm videoing. Remembering this bed roll is about seven foot long and about three foot wide. No exaggeration. If you want a, a sleep system for, say, not the average height, if you've got a slightly bigger waist than than most, or in my case, you know, long legs. I'm very tall, six foot six. It's hard to find a sleep system that's big enough for me. And if I was a a fuller figured chap, uh, I'd struggle just as much to find one to fit my length. 
So the Czech Army bedroll, good for that. It is a massive, massive bit of kit. So you'll fit in there. But also, it's such a big kit, it's a, it's a problem to get yourself <coughs> a bag for it to fit in. There we go, as you can see, it fits in there. Only just, just about room for my arm. Again, I've no idea how much of this is coming out of video, so bear with me while I try and do my best to video it. on the table because the table slides. There we go, she's in. There you go. As you can see it does take up pretty much the entire stuff set. But unlike say a high streets stuff sack like from Tesco's or Argos or whatever um, don't be afraid to tug it it's it's super strong you can tug it drive over it shoot it get an elephant to make love to it you'll probably struggle to damage this bag there we go one weight on it Anyway, now for the, the YouTube test. How many of you paid attention when I measured it? What was it? Just over two foot long? Well, I just pulled that out. There we go. It was about two foot three, two foot four long. Compression sack, a foot long. A foot by about 10 inches. Obviously the same that way. So it's under half the size. Yeah, it's a little bit wider now. It was eight inches deep, but now it's 10 inches deep. That's a foot long, instead of just over two foot. And um, of course you can see it's not even, if we even folded it in there, I could have done a proper job. Uh, I can't bother to try and tidy it up. Do you get the impression though? It's just, uh, if anyone has got one of these sleep systems, the check army bedroll. You have the same dilemma as me. How the fuck am I going to carry that? And there's your answer. Excuse the language, but that's the language that explains it the most. Uh, everything, everyone who's got one of these pretty much stands there scratching their head, saying, how am I going to get this to site? Where am I going to get it to the campsite? How am I going to get it to the bug out location? How am I going to carry that thing? Um, Arctic, sleeping bag, compression sack. Thanks for watching YouTube.